I know the Lord gave me this word. Uh -huh. Why? The Lord gave me this word. I <laughs> so y'all just work with me where I am. All, All right. right. Yeah. Let's go to Judges chapter 11. Yes, yes, TV. yes. Amen. People say if you stand up and you show a reverence, you reverence God's word by living All right. God's word. Amen. Because he said, don't be hearers, but be doers. Lord. And a lot of folk hear it, but then they refuse. Uh -huh. So if you sit and you hear it, and then you do what you hear, the Bible says hear and your soul shall live. Amen. All right, so we want you to hear the word of the Lord. Amen. And we respect the custom of the house, but we Amen. just want to Amen. be comfortable in the Holy Ghost. Verse 29 says, Then the Spirit of the Lord came upon Jephthah, uh -huh. and he passed over Gilead and Messiah and over Mithith uh -huh. of Gilead, and from Mithbeth of Gilead, he passed over unto the children of Ammon. Uh -huh. And Jephthah, Jeth, Jephthah vowed a vow unto the Lord uh -huh. and said, If thou shalt without fail deliver the children of Ammon uh -huh. into my hands, Lord. then it shall be that whosoever glory, glory, cometh glory. forth of the door of my house to meet me. Uh -huh. When I return in peace from the children of Ammon, Jeez. shall surely be the Lord, be the Lord. and I will offer it up mm -hmm. in a burnt offering. Glory. That's a vow, y'all heard that. I know. That's what he did. That's what he did. Yeah. So, Jethro passed over unto the children of Ammon to fight against them. And the Lord delivered them yes, did. unto or into the his same. hands. And he smote them from Arior, uh -huh. even until, even till thou come to many, uh -huh. even twenty cities, and unto the plain of the vineyard, yes, sir. with a very great slaughter. Uh -huh. Thus the children of Ammon were subdued before the children of Israel. Uh -huh. And Jethro came to Mephitha, House. Unto his house. Yeah. And behold, Glory. his daughter yes, Lord. came out to meet him yes. with timbrels and with dances. Yes. And she was his only Lord. child. Yes. Besides her, he had neither son nor daughter. Yes. And it came to pass. When he saw her, that he rent his clothes and said, at last, my daughter, thou hast brought me very low. And thou art one of them that troubled me. For I have opened my mouth unto the Lord, and I cannot go back. And she said unto him, My father, if thou hast opened thy mouth unto the Lord, do to me according to that which hath proceeded out of thy mouth. For as much as the Lord hath taken vengeance for thee, 
of thine enemies, even of the children of Ammon. And she said unto her father, Let this thing be done for me. Let me alone two months, that I may go up and down upon the mountains and bewail my virginity, I and my fellows. And he said, Go. And he sent her away for two months. And she went with her company, companions, and bewailed her virginity upon the mountains. And it came to pass at the end of two months that she returned unto her father, who did with her according to his vow, which he had vowed. And she knew no man, and it was a custom in Israel that the daughters of Israel went yearly to lament the daughter of Jethan, the Gilanite, four days in a year. I want to use for a subject it is well with my soul. It is well with my soul. Yes, sir. Father, we thank you for this preaching moment. We bind every activity yes, Lord. that would cause people not to hear and receive your word. Yes, Lord. Speak now. Give your people your hearts to receive, yes, Lord. to understand. Yes. Revelate your word to me. All distractions we bid flee. Yes. In the name of Jesus we pray. Amen. 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 It is well with my soul. Brothers yes. and sisters, life will not always be a bed of roses. And the sun will not always shine. Come on now. There will be rain, uh -huh. hurt, brokenness, and disappointment that is unescapable. Now I know some of y'all want me to preach a shout message. But I have to tell you what the Lord gave me All right, to give you. Let him you. Because somebody needs this. Yeah. All right. Let him give you. You must come to a place in your relationship with God yeah. that no matter the outcome, with God, I still win. Amen. Yeah. You got to come to that place yeah. in your life uh -huh. where you've matured and grown enough yeah. that no matter how it is, uh -huh. I win. I win. To break that down, Paul says, if I die, I belong to the Lord. If I live, I belong to the Lord. Whether I live or whether I die, I belong to the Lord. So basically, life or death is a win-win situation. Saints of God, this message is not to arouse your emotions, nor to cause you to leave with untruth regarding your walk with the Almighty. Yes. Most of us can and do refer, prefer to deal with the cares and ins and outs of this life from a realistic view. Uh-huh. Y'all understand me? All right. In other words, you want to deal with truth in life. Yes. Yes. You don't yes. want to sugarcoat it fake life. You want to yes. just deal with the yes. punches oh, as yes. they come. Amen. Yes. Amen. To believe or to teach no rain, no trouble, no tears, no sadness, no broke days, no sick days. I don't and of the like is not true. I don't care 
care how saved you are, how holy you are, how deep you are, how rooted and grounded in God you are, you are going to face some days you don't want to. Right. And you cannot escape them.
who is God in the flesh, uh -huh. reconciling the world unto himself. Okay. According to St. Luke 22 and 42, Jesus, the flesh, prayed in the garden. Glory. Deliver me. Uh -huh. Let this cup pass yes. from me. Yes. Then he realized that he really is God. Uh -huh. God is spirit, so God came down. All right. I know that that's that's something about, but that's Lord. The Amen. The flesh might have taken a nap, yes. but the flesh wasn't God. Lord. Uh -huh. Amen. God is a spirit, and yeah. they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Fresh uh, because God was in flesh. Yeah. It just took a little nap. Uh, yeah. mm -hmm. I ain't messing with y'all. All all right. Right. Another day for another discussion. Uh, all right, all right. Perhaps in some of our situations, God is trying to get us to a place, as was Jesus, not my will, but thy will be done. Yes, sir. Stop fighting God's plan for your life. Say that, yeah. sir. No tests. No testimony, uh -huh. no prayer life, uh -huh. no power with God. Jesus. This young lady, this girl, is put between the ages of 11 and 13 years old. Yes. She had what we felt to be her whole life in front of her, uh -huh. but only as for a little time. Uh -huh. What a way to teach us to accept what God allowed. Lord. I won't fight. Just give me a moment to get myself together. Yes. That's what she said. Give me two months. Let me go into the hill country. Yes. She said, I accept the will of God. But let me go and get myself together. Because yes. I don't just want to live right. Yes. But God knows I want to die right. Yes.
said, thank you, Jesus. I know that's three or four saved folk in here. I said, thank you, Jesus.
business to take care of. He was trying to handle his business so he could go on vacation. He sent his wife and his children ahead. Oh my God. And I heard that they rolled on a ship and the ship sank in the middle of of the ocean, his wife and four children died in the middle of the ocean. I heard they had nothing left and felt like they had no reason to live. Ain't that just like some of us? Trials on every hand, turmoil on every hand. Sickness on every hand, and we feel like there is no hope, but there is hope in God. And that man remembered not that his children were dead alone, not that his wife was dead alone, but he remembered I trust in God. I know he cares for me out on the land or on life's raging sea. No bills are roll. God keeps my soul. My heavenly father watches over me. So he made up his mind. He wanted to get on the ship and go to the place where his family sank, where they got drowned, where they died. And he did just that. Took him there uh, on the boat he was on. Said this seemed to be the place where the ship sank. And the man looked all around. Oh my God. And he began to write these words. And peace like a river attended my way. And sorrow like sea.
I may not like it. I might have to go up into the hills for two months and cry over it. Come on, Come on now. But when that time is over, uh -huh. I'm going to deal with it yeah. with grace uh -huh. and dignity. Yeah. Because if I live, uh -huh. I belong to the Lord. Uh -huh. If I die, uh -huh. oh, y'all don't like this kind of thing. Everybody want to live and stay here forever. Thank you. 